Hello lovelies, it's G here from Glenn and Thread Tarot, and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. Okay, I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance. Ooh -wee. Let's let's get into it, okay? So I feel like there is about to be a massive change here, okay? Somebody here is about to go from feeling in poverty, okay, to creating a ten of pentacles for themselves, okay? With this distance horizons, okay? I feel like somebody's been fantasizing or trying to like manifest this into their life with this expectation here. They've had somebody's had an expectation, okay? Oh, okay. Because I saw the seven of swords here underneath the deck here, underneath the ten of pentacles, and I was like, mm, what's that sneaky little energy? And I was like, is it self-sabotage? What's going on here? No. So somebody had the expectation that you would stay in poverty a child for some of you this could be your child this, this could be about a child okay you could be this person's child this could, this could be your child okay it's a false person i know that this is a false person in your life this person expected you to stay in poverty okay they really did mm -hmm. emperor Okay. But you could be stepping into your masculine energy here, okay? You could be creating. You don't have to constant you don't have to identify as a masculine or as an emperor energy here, okay? You could just be kind of like using your emperor energy to create a ten of cups energy here for yourself, okay? Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, okay. Okay. Page of cups, yeah. I feel like somebody's just starting off, okay? Somebody here is maturing over time to try to create a ten of cups here for themselves. A sun energy. Wow. That is beautiful. And a, and a knight of pentacles as well. It might have taken a little bit of time, but you're figuring it out. Okay. But I feel like there was somebody here who had the expectation that you would constantly stay in that poverty. That you would constantly stay without. That you would not ever have... For some of you, like, I'm really, really getting that this is somebody, like, in your in your family, okay, here. For some of you, it's kind of like this energy of projection. Like, this is what I have, so that's what you're going to have, too. This magician energy here. But I feel like you are manifesting a ten of cups, ten of pentacles, the sun energy into your life, okay? Yeah, because you're actually learning lessons. I feel like that's this other person's problem, this false person. I feel like that's their problem is that... They go through life like experiencing like karmic lessons, but never putting it together, like never putting the information together. Like, OK, well, let me learn from this that I'm going through, you know, like it's just like, oh, life is just shit. And I just go through struggles is what this person's mindset is. Right. That's right. But you you choose to turn these three of swords energies that you have into into lessons. Right. This heartbreak, you decide to transmute it and turn it into victory in the end. Like, OK, like. Like, I know how to win because I've lost before, right? I might have gone through, I might go, you know, I'm not fighting just to fight here, okay? I'm not fighting just to fight. Like, the world isn't just, like, against me, right? Like, I, I, I am going through this to learn more. Like, you embrace this death energy here. You embrace, like, a new beginnings when you understand that, you know, things happen for a reason, emperor there's the emperor energy again right it's wisdom you're learning wisdom right from the energy that you're going through through things that you're going through like you're being spiritually elevated through the things that you're going through yeah you're being spiritually elevated and this person yeah they choose to sit on it here okay Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is like the pre-emperor. Like this person, like, they get all the way there, okay? They have all this wealth of knowledge inside of them, but they choose not to allow it to, like, really sink in or, or like, really, like, like open up that chest and actually, like, learn from the lessons that they're gathering here. Okay, King of Cups. This person chooses to hold back and to really not face their emotions or to face their... um. Like they, it's like they would rather run away from it than than face like the lessons that they could learn from it. Five of five of uh, wands. They'd rather just fight these lessons. They'd rather just stay in chaos, or they'd rather, you know, 
emperor. But they're being asked, they're, they're really being asked to go inside, but I'm hearing comparing. This person could be comparing their life to yours, but it's like, they're like, why do you have this, but I don't? Why do you get to have that, but I don't? Why do you, you know, it, but it's like, it's almost like this person is not seeing like the sacrifices or seeing the lessons. Like, it's like, you're like, I'm learning, I, I'm going through lessons, I'm going through hardship just like you are. But the difference, like, you see the difference in our life because because I actually take time to stop and to like think deeply about the lessons that I'm going through and to, and to put them into, and to manifest change in my life with them. Ace of swords. Yeah. When I get to it, or sorry, not ace of swords, ace of wands. When I get to a 10 of wands, I let it go and I learn from it. Ace of wands. And then I have a new, a new wand, a new energy, a new passion, a new drive, a new understanding. Like, you know, I actually put all of the nine wands that I go through, I actually let it empower me, I actually transmute it and go through it and learn and learn from my hardships, you know? I have a different mindset. That's why our outlook looks different. Two of Cups. I'm hearing that's why our partnerships look different. I don't know. You can either be stepping into this masculine energy or attracting a masculine energy here, okay? And this person is, like, comparing themselves to you, like, why you? Like, why do you get to have happiness and I don't? But this person doesn't want to look at the fact that they're a false person, that they're a thief. Okay, with this mature woman here, yeah. For some of y'all, this could be, like, a mother energy here for you, okay? And it's like... You know, my life didn't turn out like that. So why should your life be any different? It's like this person, this person, instead of, the, instead of taking accountability for their choices and their actions and how, and how, you know, life gave them hardships and they chose to handle them in a way that continued their hardships or they choose not to learn the lessons. So their hardships keep continuing, you know, they'd rather say, oh, you're just not really going through it. Or you're, you're, you know, instead of saying, oh, well you're acting smart and you're actually learning your lessons and you're actually improving and, you know, going through stuff. They'd rather just say, oh, you know, you're not going through stuff. That's why your life looks better. Oh, you just don't have it as hard as I do. That's why I'm just having to struggle harder than you are. That's why. So it's like, it's like making, it's like their ego response. It's like making themselves feel better by having this ego response of projecting this. You don't have it as hard as I do. You have it so much easier than I do, you know, instead of just, instead of just really admitting to themselves that if they, you know, if they worked hard and they allowed, you know, and allowed the lessons that they go through and if they handled it differently, you know, that they could be living a better, more high vibrational life as well. You know, that they could be receiving the blessings that you're receiving. Different blessings, their own blessings, you know. Um, Ace of Cups, right? You're spending that time filling up your cup. You're spending this time filling up your cup and this person, it just they don't get that. They don't understand that, you know. You're, you're filling up your own cup and you're manifesting people into your life that fill up their own cup. And together, all of y'all are going to make a Ten of Cups here, right? To find ultimate satisfaction and happiness here with the Sun and this Ten of Cups, right? And this person is going to be looking at their life and your life and comparing the two and, and being like, you know, it's kind of like downgrading what you're going through. Like, oh, you didn't have to go through it. You had it so much easier. Everything just got handed to you. Like, you haven't had to work as hard as I have. Um, all to make themselves feel better about the choices they made in their life that led them where they are now. I grew up in a worse time. It was harder. Everything's handed to you. Everything's different now. You know, Ace of Pentacles. Again, like I said, you're here building a Ten of Cups and a Pentacles, and you're being given this Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You're give, being given this because you're spending the time learning your lessons with that Nine of Wands there. You know, you're becoming this Queen of Pentacles energy or King of Pentacles energy, whichever, which is why you're getting this justice. This is justice for you because you put in the work. But this person wants to say that you don't deserve that. Why does this person why does this person feel like you don't deserve your blessings? Four of Cups, because they just are like, I don't have it. I don't have it, so why should you have it? This person is feeling left out. Wow. Yeah, just straight up. I don't have it, so why should you have it? 
Nine of Swords. This person is feeling anxious. They're feeling trapped. They're feeling weighed down. Damn. The devil. This person is feeling devil energy. This person could be trying to create some kind of tower moment here for you, but I feel like it's just going to be another triumph for you. You see how triumphant that person is standing there? You could even be looking at this person to be like, like, look, like, look, I tore down my whole tower. And this person is like, great. I'm so happy for you. That kind of energy. Or it's like, that's great. Mm -hmm. It's great you tore down your tower. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you can tear down your tower too. Well, I don't know. You know, my tower is stronger and my tower is built. You know, look at the blocks my tower is made out of. They're thicker and they're heavier. And my tower is bigger and it's older and it's hard. It's, it's, it's just so much hard. You just don't understand. Like my tower is so much harder to tear down. And you're just kind of like, okay. <laughs> Ada, okay. Ada Swords. It's like, it's like this person is blinded by their jealousy. It's like, you could have this too. So instead of being, instead of looking at you, and instead of being inspired by you, this person is inspired to have jealousy. Family room. I told you this person could be family. Child and wealthy man. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but it could apply for some of you. This person could have thought that if they could just have a child with a wealthy man, like all of their, all of their problems would be solved. It's like, I just need to, I just need to get, a, I just need to have a rich husband, like get me pregnant or something like that. This person could be projecting that onto you. Okay. This person could be like, oh, all you want to do is just get married to this wealthy man and have a kid. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> concerned i'm hearing this person is so concerned with your business i'm hearing that for some of you um you could end up marrying like a wealthy man and having their child and it's just instead of this person looking at you and being like wow this person put in the work and worked on themselves and now they're being gift you know they've manifested like a you know like a really wealthy partner into their life and they're really wealthy and they're having a child and they're building a family it's kind of almost like Instead of being able to look at that and be like, wow, this person worked for that. It's like they just want to say, oh, well, you just married a rich man and had his child. So, psh, yeah, if I, if I married a rich man and had his child, like, I'd be able to travel around, too. I'd be able to have this, too. I'd be able to have that, too, if that's what I had. If I had that. If I was in your life, I'd be so, you know, it'd be so wonderful for me, too. But I don't have your life. Now you want to tell me that I could, I could just have that? No, I can't. You're so privileged. You don't even see your own privilege. Like, that's this person's viewpoint. It's like they don't want to admit that you worked hard for this, you know? <laughs> Not change. Like, you worked hard. You worked hard to make this change and to build this change and to build these opportunities for your life. Marriage, hello? Some of you are about to marry somebody that's, that's pretty well off, okay? And it's going to change your life. And it could inspire some people to have jealousy instead of inspire some people to be like, wow, like I could work on myself and I could, you know, and I could attract in a very like wealthy, abundant partner as well. Like it's just going to like these people are just going to be like, oh, well, you just <clears throat> you just married a rich man and it solved all your issues or solved all your problems. Mature woman. But they don't want to see this could be a mature woman. This could be an elderly woman in your life or this could be a um like a mother again a mother figure here judgment energy this person with this adjudication here this person is judging you so harsh this person is judging you so harshly pathway it's a part of your pathway exactly you have made a whole journey you've gone on a whole journey to get you to this place to to be to be mature man with this mature man you know, this emperor energy. You're putting in all this work to, to to manifest this emperor energy into your life. And this person just wants to talk shit about how you don't deserve to be with this person. Poverty, exactly. This person thinks you deserve to be in poverty. Or this person thinks you, it's like, 
high honor fill in the floor. This person doesn't want to give you your props or doesn't want to see you in high honor. This person wants to paint you as like this devil energy or they want to paint you as like, like a gold digger. Oh, unexpected income. Okay. This person could look at you as like always having your hand out. This person is like hella projecting. Excuse me, house. Yeah. You you could um, come in you could come into contact with uh, like a pretty wealthy well off partner. Um, you guys could like this person could buy you a house or could buy you something, and it's just like it's very unexpected here. Um, I don't even know if you like know, realize that this person is as wealthy as they are. Like they might kind of hide it from you at first. Message. Just tell me to put it back. Like okay occupation you can meet this person at work or through their occupation okay or through your occupation courtship yeah and i feel like this person is immediately going to be very drawn to you this person is immediately going to be very much like i want to court you i want to take you out i want to be with you it's reminding me of the lover's card in here in this deck but yes oh my gosh this person this mature woman could also be like, it could be somebody in your family. It also could be somebody that's connected to this wealthy man, to this person. Um, or it could be both. You could have people on your side that are like... Yeah. So I'm getting an energy that this wealthy man could have a person that's, like, on their side of things that are just like, this person's a gold digger. They're just trying to be with you for your money. And you could have people on your side trying to like say like you don't deserve it or like you didn't work hard for it or it's like it's like yeah I could be traveling or doing that too if I had a wealth if I just you know had a wealthy husband it would be so easy if I just you know dated somebody who was rich and then my life would be just as good as yours is it's like jealousy all the way around but anyway there's also there's a woman here who's very concerned <laughs> there's a woman here that's very concerned that the, with this thief card energy here somebody could be putting like up like big blockages in your way um in this relationship because they think you aren't good enough or it's like it's just concerned because it's like you know you and this person could come from very different backgrounds you could come from very like middle class or even like you could have struggled growing up okay and this person is just like why are you going to bring the help around? That's kind of the energy that this, that this person is giving me. Whoever's on this wealthy man's side, a main female. Okay. And now and now that you're becoming like the object of this, like, of this courtship here with this wealthy man here, um, there's a person that's just like, okay, yeah. You and this person could have... And I know you probably don't want to hear that. You're like, you know how much work I put in to manifest in like a good partner and all this stuff. And then you're telling me I'm going to manifest in this good partner. And then there's still just going to be more BS. Like people aren't in his family aren't going to like me or something like that, which I don't think that's really going to, going to be like necessarily true. I feel like most people that are going to be around this masculine are actually really going to love you, especially this person is going to have some really close friends that are going to be like, in love not like that kind of but they're they're just gonna love you they're gonna see how happy you make this masculine like and it could literally just be just one person that's like the, and everybody's like what's your issue what's your problem like it's so clear that these two like love each other that they're so happy with each other like get over yourself like get over it um this person obviously isn't just about this person's money but that could just kind of be the whole mindset. And e either way, it's projection. This person is hella projecting onto you because they look at this masculine and all they see is their money. So they feel like other people that are trying to be with this masculine just see this masculine in that same way. It's, it's a lot of projection energy here. Message. Yeah. This could just be kind of like a warning, like distant horizon. This could be in the future, but this is just kind of a warning. Like, yeah, it's okay. Like, it's not going to matter. 
ten, ten of cups ten, ten of cups the sun the emperor this person sees through this person's lies whoever this main female is or whatever here this person it's they see through this person's lies or they see through this person's um like they know this person is lying to them or they know this person is trying to trick them or trying to do this like they know that they know it So don't don't get paranoid and think that this person is going to be able to family room. This person could really could be in this per, in this mas masculine's family. For some of y'all, I'm hearing this person is an ex-wife. Adjudication, yeah. So this person could have divorced. A thief, oh, thief. This person's a thief for this person's life. They're the thief. But they're projecting onto you like you're the thief. Girl, if you don't calm down. Okay. Anyway. But I also definitely feel like there's somebody on your side too who's like, you don't deserve this. They feel like you don't deserve it. Excuse me. My sight. Oh, my nose is itching. Um. Six of Pentacles. They want to be in your place. <laughs> Five of Swords. They're comparing. They're like, I said that earlier. They compare their life to yours. And they're just like, oh, I could have done that too if I would have married a rich man. My life could look like that too. Everything had been handed to me. But again, like I said, that tower card was just right there. Again, they don't want to admit how much work you put up. They want to stay blind. They purposely want to stay blind. And they purposely kind of want to like, like, dim you down, like, oh, it wasn't that hard, like, <laughs> this would be the type of person, say that you get, like, sick, and you're like, woohoo, I beat cancer, and this person would just be like, it was just one tumor, you know, that kind of energy, where it's like, what, like, what are you talking about, like, are you crazy, <laughs> I'm like, anyway, world card, um, the spirit is saying, like, you know, hate, like, some haters gonna hate, look, false, false people okay false person some haters gonna hate and spirit is saying like you're gonna have a very beautiful life and again i've been talking about this like like some people are going to be inspired to like match your energy and just like enjoy and embrace and be very grateful and be very happy of the inspiration that your life is to them and some people are gonna it's gonna inspire hate in some people because they want to project all their energy they want to look at their life and look at your life and think oh no like if my life was that easy you know uh, i i, I would my life would look like that too uh, you know <laughs> uh, yeah ten of wands you you shine a light on these people and they have they have an issue with all the the light that you shine on them they do But like again, it's like it's like people who want to stand at the finish line and be like, "Oh, it was so easy for you to get here." Like, no, it wasn't. It <laughs> it was hard to get here. It was hard work to get here. Page of Pentacles. Like I start, I started at the bottom, and now I made my way. <laughs> I climbed that mountain and made my way all the way up to the top, carrying ten wands. Like, you know, and it wasn't easy along the way. Five of Cups. I had plenty of times when my cup spilled. I had plenty of times when people turned their back on me. But I I deserve to be here. Because I worked hard for it. I was, I was hearing that. I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. It, it was destined for this to come together and, and for this to happen it was a soul contract like you're gonna be i feel like whether you realize this or not you have a lot of soul contracts with people to point out things to them like i said you'll have soul contracts with the people who want to take from you or want to you know compare themselves to you and want to tear you down to make themselves feel better. And you also have soul contracts with people who 
who will be in the high vibration love and light and see the potential of themselves within you, right? There's some people who are going to look at you and see the and see what they lack. And there are some people who are going to look at you and see the potential that they have in themselves and they are going to mirror and you're going to mirror that into them. But it's really about that person. It's not about you. Right? You're the same person. It just really depends on who's looking at you from what perspective. And so the spirit is saying, like, you're going to have this nine of cups energy here. OK, you're going to have your wish fulfillment. You're going to, you know, you're going to work yourself up there and you're going to build this foundation. But along the way, Page of Swords, you're going to, to be this, this, um, you're going to tell people about themselves and it's going to really show, right? How people react to you and how people react to your success or how people react to your life is going to show, is really going to show who they are. Death energy here. I'm almost getting like judgment energy out of that as well. Six of Swords. But I feel like that you will come to a place where you feel kind of above or out of the reach of people. You know, you're not really going to let people, you know, how people react to you is, is, is their business, not your business. And all, as much as people might want to make it your business, like it's like, it's not your business. And it'll be on them. And like I said, you'll have some people that really love this new you and love you and are, and are happy for you and are like, oh my God, yes, boo, you're glowing, you're you're doing it, like, I'm so proud of you. And then you're going to have some people that are going to be like, well, if my life, if I knew you better, it's going to be, my life, I could have that life too if I, yeah, you know. But like, again, like I said, at the end of the day, it's more about, that's more about them. It's not about you. You know, that's on them, how they choose to react to the glow, the world. Yeah, you're going to open and close a lot of cycles for people, whether you whether you realize this or not, Eight of Cups. Okay, but you're walking away from it regardless, right? So there is this energy here of like, okay, you come to realize that you need to remove yourself from the drama and you need to go towards that, right? And when you realize that, Six of Swords, you, the world card, end the old cycle, Eight of Cups, and walk away from that old cycle into the new cycle, here that's just going to be a part of this cycle here of this transition here but i feel like you're gonna like i said you're gonna inspire a lot of this new new cycle energy in a lot of people a lot of people are going to be triggered in one way or another by you and it's just it's just a part of it I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of people who want to, like, try to come up against you. Or try to be like, you trigger me and you make me feel this certain type of way and that's your fault. But like I said, I feel like you're turning your back and walking away from that. From taking the responsibility of that onto your own shoulders. And realizing that the way people react is on them not on you, you know? And I think that that's what it is, react versus respond. You're going to have some people who react to you and they're going to be like, me, 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 you know, hater, hater, haters, you know? And then you're going to have some people who respond to you because they've taken the time to go inside and be like, wow, I'm working on myself and I can see a better version of myself in you. And this energy here of you understanding that, that, you know, it's good that you build up people around you who are inspired by you, you know, who are pouring into themselves and who pour into you, you know, equally. And that you cut ties and walk away from people who want to, who want to call you out of your name or call you or try to pretend like you're something else. Like, like the truth of who you are, your justice right? The truth of who you are will reflect. 
it'll be seen, it'll be known, okay? And like I said, sometimes you're going to have people that want to choose the light, and sometimes you're going to have people who want to choose the dark, but that's on them. Stay open, stay loving, you know? Keep going inside and figuring out what you need to do for yourself and learning how to cut away any of that energy and to not absorb energy of people who want to try to tear you down, right? To not invite that energy in. And it's going to be important for you too, to learn how to respond, not react, you know, not react to things. And I feel like that's what you've been on, on a journey here. You've been on a journey here of learning how how to not absorb other people's energies, to not allow other people's projections to make you feel a certain type of way or make you feel like you got to fight or make you feel like you got to prove that you're not that person. You know, like you're just like, you know what, I'm not, excuse me, what you think and what you feel, that's on you. You know, that's, that's a you problem. That's a you thing. That's a, that's a your life sort of type thing. You can think whatever you want to. Don't mean nothing to me, right? People will be here. And I feel like you don't realize like how powerful you are because you literally walk around causing tower moments to happen in people's lives. Whether, you know, just, just walking around being yourself. And so... Really changing up a lot of energy of people around you, whether you're meaning to or not, you know. Okay, closing out final little things that we're gonna say here, final things that you have to say about this spirit message. You have a message here, thoughts, you're on people's minds, prison, imprisonment. Don't allow other people to like to be like, oh, this is what you are, and to have you feeling like, you know, that that's what you have to be, that you have to, you know. Like, it's kind of like, it's giving me, like, a rise above it. Don't allow other people to, like, back you up into a corner or to keep you trapped in a certain mindset because there will be, as you're, like, evolving and you're growing and you're learning, you'll have people that want to try to test you. You'll have people that want to try to push you. You'll have people that want to try to say, oh, are you really in the love and light like you claim to be? Are you really as evolved as you claim to be? Have you really grown as much as you claim to, you know? And that really just shows more about them that they're always trying to test you and that they're always trying to cause issues here with you. You know, that reflects more on them than it does on you. Sudden wealth. It's evolution here, okay? But also just see, like, in the fact that, you know, that you are choosing, you know, every day that when people try to test you or that people try to do that, you choose to handle it better or you choose to handle it more high vibrationally, regardless of what these people think about it. Like, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> false person. Like, these false, these false people, you know, they're going to be there. They're out there in the world. It is what it is, you know? And, um, like, you can't stop those false people from trying to we weasel their way in into your life, but you can, but you can control whether or not you allow these people to trigger you or whether or not you give your time or your energy to these people, right? Like, they're out there. <laughs> they're, they're out there and they're gonna, and they're gonna do what they do, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing that, that song again that players are going to play. Players, they're going to play. And haters, they're going to hate. Ballers, they're going to ball. Shot callers, they're going to call. That ain't got nothing to do with me and you. It's just the way that it is. Like, that have nothing to do. <laughs> you know? Spirit is saying that all this work that you're doing on yourself is calling in a, a, a very, like, high vibrational partner for you, you know? So don't allow other people to try to project onto you or try to make you feel like you're not worthy of this person, okay? Courtship, this courtship, this, it's going to feel like a gift. It's going to feel like, you know, this person sees you in high honor. This person knows who you are. This person sees the truth of who you are. So, so don't allow anybody else to try to make you feel like, like a child or like you don't know what you're doing or like you're childish or whatever it's not your business <laughs> whatever these people it, it ain't got nothing to do 
right? Haters are going to hate. People are going to have something to say. Like this person right here, this person that's coming into you is like saying, this has nothing to do with me and you, you know? Like I'm not going to allow this to affect us or I'm not going to allow that to, to stop us from, you know, doing our mission or coming together, journey. We have a journey. We have something to do together, you know? And, you know, I'm not great fortune and house. This person is saying, you know, like, we have something to build here. With this great fortune and house is giving me ten of pentacles energy. Like, we have so much more to build here than, than what these people want to try to, you know, these people want to try to make it about themselves. Or these people want to make it about just, like, earthly 3D things when we know that we have a higher mission here. We know we have more to do here, you know. These people want to keep us in despair. They want to keep us in low vibrational energy. They want to keep us triggered and, and you know, and, um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> These people want to keep us in five of cups energy, like, keep us trapped and feeling like we're lost and like we don't have anything. I don't have time for any of that. They want to try to, to take our happiness from us and to try to keep us apart. But we have a brand new beginning coming here, Hierophant. You know, we're going to find, we're going to find each other. We're going to find that energy. You know, we're going to find our way to each other. So don't allow somebody trying to project on you and, and feel like you hadn't earned it or you're not good enough or you're not smart enough or, you know, you know who you are. You know who you are. Don't allow other people. Yeah, exactly. Don't allow other people to try to project their own energy onto you. You don't got to take it. You ain't got to fight it. If that's their issue. That's their business. Right? Chariot. You just have to keep making your the best decisions for yourself. And that's it. Fuck, like you got options. You got things coming in. You got choices coming in for you. Okay? High Priestess, listen to your to yourself, okay? This has got a yucky energy to it, honestly. It's got like a very like draining, yucky energy, just low vibrational energy to it. But like I said, Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords, I'm telling you, somebody don't want you to have this Ten of Pentacles. But their wants and desires are none of your business. That's on them, right? Two of Swords. These people are really just going to to mess themselves up with this. You know, all they are, they're going to reveal themselves and they're going to get themselves cut out of people's lives. And the more they try to fight this, the more that they're just going to get cut out. The more your spirit guides are just going to say, I ain't got no time for that. Cut, 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 cut. Get out, get out, get out. Because, like, your spirit guides are like, this is going to happen. Some of these people better watch out. They're going to get themselves locked up, <laughs> imprisonment. And they want to keep you locked up. They want to keep you locked up in poverty, feeling like you don't deserve it, feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like, feeling in despair, like you can't make it through this, feeling like nobody wants you or something like that. Like, there's people trying to keep you triggered, especially trying to keep you from feeling like you're not good enough to, 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 um, to do some kind of job or to do what you came here to do or occupation to try to try to fight you or try to drain you or try to like make you feel like you're not good enough lovers trying to send you false lovers you know it's uh you're gonna know you're gonna know you're you're being positively guided you're gonna know and these people are gonna end up messing themselves up that's really what's going to happen. Ju adjudication. These people are going to have to face judgment for their actions. 
they are for praying against you for for working against you for bringing you down like and like I said it's not like punishment I've said this before you know when the karma comes back it's not like punishment but it's just like a lesson a lesson to be learned here great fortune yeah you're gonna find this great fortune because it's yours you're gonna have this because it's, it's meant to be yours and whoever this thief energy is right here okay whoever's trying to take your place or steal your place or you know keep you from getting what's yours okay whoever this privileged lady is all right Or it's like she wants to, or she, okay, or or they want to, whoever this person is, they they want to steal you from being able to step into this privileged lady's position. Excuse me. <sighs> the lovers. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants to like they want to put you in like bad health, like so you can't like so you feel like you're not good enough. Courthouse again, courthouse. Like this person is gonna deal with something. I don't know what it is, but just the more they work against you, the more they're just going to deal with BS in their life. Like, every single obstacle they try to put in your way, they're going to meet an obstacle of greater value. Every single time they try to pray against you, that's going to tear down something in their life. Every single time they try to speak ill words against you, it's just going to bring 10 people into their life speaking ill words against them. Every single time they try to convince and spread lies about you, that's just going to bring more and more people into their life, spreading lies and causing drama for them. Like, and every single time they try to keep you apart from your destiny is, it's just solidifying your destiny and solidifying their destiny <sighs> on the outs, toll and labor. Exactly. This person this person is from but there's some kind of energy here of this person maybe even having to go to some kind of like work camp or like with this tool and labor and imprisonment card is giving me like some kind of weird like labor camp vibes or something like labor camp vibes the way I said that though um yeah I don't like I said I don't know what that is I don't know if this person is you know from a place where People get put in jail and they get put into labor camps or something. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. That could be past life energy here, okay? Courthouse. This person is about to get judged for something that they for something that they've done. Or something that they tried to do to you or something that they did to you in the past. Thief. They they're really the the thieving, stealing from you. Yeah. So if anybody tried to make you feel like, you know, if anybody tried to make it twice as hard for you, it's going to be, you know, 20 times harder for them. If somebody tried to make it any of that stuff, like the seeds they're sowing, it's really going to, it's really going to come back to haunt them. That's what I'm hearing. Like it's really, really going to come back to haunt them, especially with them doing something weird with this wealthy man here, like, or doing something against you to try to become a wealthy man, like courthouse I, I, I can't tell y'all how many times that's coming out here you know like somebody here is gonna face some kind of like 3d world judgment here with the court system i don't know what that is but they're gonna deal with it they are really 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 gonna go through it i'm telling you this Adjudication thief. Sudden wealth and high honor. When all of the situation is said and done, okay? When it's all said and done, 
okay, this person is going to end up either like in bad health or they're going to end up in jail or in spiritual jail, something like that, okay? And you're going to end up sudden wealth and high honor. This person could end up having to pay you in some type of way or another. They're either going to have to pay you like actual physical 3D world, like material money, reparations, something like that for something they did to you. Or spiritually, or this is all like metaphorical and they're going to spiritually have to pay for it. They're spiritually going to feel in prison for the rest of their, for the rest of their life. They're spiritually going to have to pay you back from the karmic debt imprisonment I told you one of the two one of the two mature man in despair this could involve like an older man being in despair about the things that they did despair and community an older man here is in despair about the things that they've done because the community is turning against them um, and a mature woman is a false person here so, yeah, this could be about some of these parents with that mature man, mature woman energy coming out there with there being like a false person there. Somebody could be finding out that their parents were really trying to cause some energy. Seven of Cups, they were trying to confuse them. Five of Pentacles, trying to get them left out in the cold. Nine of Wands, but this is a serious, like, um, serious situation here judgment yeah they're being judged for their choices and for their actions about how they handle this whole thing judgment again and eight of cups it's going to end up making this person walk away nine of swords and they're going to be left in like this nine of swords anxieties fears nightmares devil energy they're going to get the devil energy that they tried to give back five of swords they're this five of swords energy here and they're going to get it back six of pentacles exactly what they gave out they're going to get back wow Empress. This could literally be somebody's mother. It's, this is not going to be pretty energy here for this mother energy here. Eight of Swords. I told you the Eight of Swords. They're going to be trapped either in actual prison or in some kind of like spiritual jail or some kind of spiritual prison, which is like Eight of Swords being trapped in your being trapped in a in a prison of your own making, mentally trapped somewhere. Seven of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. This person tried to rush in and make something happen really quickly. Try to like rile up. I'm here like riling up the, the townsfolk, like that like that person like getting like, you know, pitchforks and like torches against people, eight of cups, but it's not working now. <laughs> um Nine of Swords again. Like this person is just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe, you know, the truth came out here. That's never happened. Will of Fortune was meant to happen this time. Congratulations. Four of Wands. Three of Swords. Yeah. Especially about a house here. If somebody was doing something shady around like a house, the hermit, trying to keep you alone or trying to keep you two of cups from coming into union with somebody, especially like over a house or around around a house that kept coming out here, like shh, this person's going to have some ish to deal with. I feel sorry for them. Yeah. Anyway, okay, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope this gave you the love, light, and clarity that you were looking for in your situation. If you want to get a personal reading from me, my contact information is listed down below. Thank you guys so very much. Um, thank you to your spirit guides for guiding you here. Okay, thank you to my spirit guides for uh, helping me to deliver this message as well as keeping me safe while I did so. Okay, and um, if you guys like the content, give it a like. Let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated for you. Excuse me, if you guys want to subscribe and join the tribe, you know what to do. Hit the bell for the notifications so you know what's up, okay? I really appreciate you guys so very much, all right? Something is coming out here. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. It could even be like on the news or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
I'm hearing like on a world stage, okay? Okay. I'm hearing Supreme Court or like on a world stage, something like that. Like something big is going to come out and you're just going to be like, what? And for some of you, you might not even know that this people or, the, or this group or this energy was like trying to come up against you. But because you could just hear something and be like, oh, that's crazy. Some organization went down or something like that happened. And, you know, this company is falling apart or something. You're like, anyway. And then in the future, you're going to find out that those people had some kind of connection to you or they were trying to come up against you or they had a connection to your person that you're about to come into contact with, like something crazy like that. And you're going to be like, what? But it's like things are going to come together in the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm getting very tired now. So I got to go. All right. Thank you guys so very much again. And I will see you lovelies in the next one. Okay. Bye.